While you were in Yugoslavia, you made a painting of Bukaric, a great historical hero. Tell me something more about that. Yeah, it was a, it was a very very good painting that I've, that I've done. Uh, according to a lot of people, they, they viewed it at that, that particular moment. It was exhibited at the gallery that was right across from the monument uh, of that uh, historic figure. Uh, he's, he was a reformer of our language, of Serbian language, and uh, it was uh, the anniversary. It was 200 years of, of his, after his death. Um, the painting was very unusual. It's not a, uh, it was not a, an ordinary realistic portrait. It was more of a surreal portrait because the, the figure for the, from the 16th, 17th century uh, was wearing dark sunglasses and uh, a leather jacket with buttons, more of a punk, punk type, and brought a lot of attention to, um, to the gallery. There was people trying to close it down, people talking on the radio against it, against me telling, telling everybody that I should be sued, that I should be kicked out of the country, and it was pretty cool. You painted a portrait of uh, the Prime Minister of Canada. How did you come on that idea? Well, it was, uh, it was just something that, that was bound to happen, I guess. Uh, over the years, I've been doing portraits of, of many people, and uh, I decided to, to paint portraits of people that are actually making decisions, uh, shifting our lives into like left and right, you know, moving and shaking our lives. Uh, it was uh, an extraordinary decision, I think. Have you painted other politicians as well? Other politicians? Yeah. yeah I painted all the pro uh, provincial premiers, uh, leaders of some pro uh, political parties, and uh, also this painting here, in Fidel Castro, Portrait of Fidel Castro, which is called uh, Castro versus USA. What are you going to do with his portrait? Try to sell it or just exhibit? Well, I'm trying to, to make a point. I, I, I spoke to Cuban ambassador Bien Bienvenido Garcia. And he's trying to set up an appointment with me and, and Castro to go and present the painting publicly, formally. So we'll see what's going to happen with this. <laughs> Tell me a little about this painting. Well, this, pa what this painting here? Uh, yeah, I've, I've done it two years ago, and, and three years ago. Yeah. And uh, it, the name of the painting is uh, Billy Crystal is a Dog. <laughs> watch one of his movies and I think he's a horrible actor <laughs> tell you the truth. so I had to paint him like, like this he, he had this movie with, with some cows he was running after a cow throughout the movie mm -hmm. and uh, this is the uh, the impact that he made on me so I, I, I guess he, I had to react in a, in a way this one here is a, is a landscape the thing about this painting is uh, that it's been done uh, it started as, as writing yeah, as a very automatic mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. uh, the entire background was filled up with text in different colors, and then I started painting and adding, adding, adding color to it, adding uh, landscapes, adding air, water, you know, yeah. the, the four elements. Yeah, so you use all technique in, in that one. Yeah. It's like a mixed media. It's one media that I just you know, use text as mm -hmm. the background. Are you also using mixed media or something? Yeah. Yeah? All kinds of medias. Yeah. They almost kicked me out of the university because of that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. see. I did an installation and I spilled oil all over the floor, uh, the <laughs> motor oil, and the <laughs> fire department came in and saying that this left me a note saying that it's like a Halloween setup. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Tell me about this painting. This paint here. Well, this paint here is called Etobicoke, and um, it's a uh, it's a in basically a very beautiful mm -hmm. city, mm -hmm. part of Toronto no, right now. It's a mega city, I guess. Yeah. So it's not going to be called Etobicoke anymore. So this is uh, just just the history, and um, it's supposed to be a, a city of future. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of urban landscape in the background. These most beautiful formations of rock that you can find in Ontario, that they I really like. And uh, it's, it, as you can see, it's very nice and quiet and clean. Although there's no people o over there, people are in the Oh, background. yeah. Thank yeah. you. 